Calling all book and music lovers, the Hawaii Book and Music Festival is back, but at a new location. Here's Kamaka Pili. Over the past few years, you didn't see it in person because it was held virtual ever since the pandemic, but this is the first year of the physical return of the Hawaii Book and Music Festival, this time being hosted at the University of Hawaii, and it's going to be filling up this whole weekend to come. So to find out more, we're here with its chairman, Doug Chin. Thank you very much, Doug, for taking the time. But as mentioned, this is the first time at being back in person after the past few years since 2020 being virtual. How big is the excitement? for it to finally be back in person. Oh, I think people are really excited to have this uh, come back live um, and also at the University of Hawaii campus. So for people who used to be uh, coming to the Book and Music Festival, this was something that would be happen over by Honolulu Hale, uh, where we would have like different tents where you'd have authors and musicians and hula groups performing um, in addition to like food trucks and all these different things going on to have just a really nice day for families and people who are interested in learning more about local books and lo local music. So uh, it's happening ag again after uh, a couple years of being virtual and and so we're excited to be having it at the University of Hawaii campus right here. There's multiple facets that make up this festival and I know there's different stages and a lot of different booths. What can people expect throughout Saturday and Sunday? So it starts at 10 and goes to 5 and and if you see the program you're gonna see that there's actually over like 140 events that are going on at different tents over here uh, along the the campus walkway and and, and campus center as well. Um, tomorrow at noon there's gonna be a presentation by um, esteemed author Ellen Galinsky who um, studied um, kind of the scientific um, basis of what's going on with, uh, with teenagers as they're growing up and so she's going to be giving a speech about that but in addition it's not just that it's all these different things going on in terms of like musical performances hula performances as well as like uh, different food trucks and, and places where people can just be able to get involved and, and just enjoy the day I should also point out for families uh, that the Always Dream Foundation that's sponsored by um, Olympic figure skater Christy Yamaguchi um, that's also going to be uh, happening where there's going to be a tent where different uh, local celebrities are going to be reading to kids all throughout the day um, so that's going to be a good event as well this sounds like an amazing event mainly because it, it really encompasses all ages from keiki to kupuna over the 19 years how has this festival grown well it, it's actually drawn thousands of people for the last uh, 19 years and even during the pandemic there was a great interest in in people who were um, tuning in virtually to be able to hear from local uh, authors and, and local musicians i think the draw uh, for the Book and Music Festival has always been that it's free and open to the public. Um, so you don't actually have to pay for anything and, and what's more is UH is offering free parking. Um, so it's free parking as well as a free event for people to be able to come down and enjoy the day with their families. Well, thank you very much, Doug. Really appreciate it. Again, this is the return physical, the Hawaii Book and Music Festival here at the University of Hawaii, taking place this Saturday and Sunday starting at 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. both days, free admission free parking. Don't want to forget that. For all the information, be sure to visit our website, khon2.com. Kamakapili with KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.